I look at transnational migration, people who migrate mostly from the Horn of Africa and settle in the various parts of the world. Somalia collapsed as a nation state in 1991. So Somali refugees moving across borders often confront not only the um, the difficulties of being mobile, of coming from a collapsed nation state, of not having the documentation oftentimes necessary to legally migrate, but they're also confronting all the kind of underlying backlash of being a refugee, being a Muslim, being black in the war on terror. Um, so my work on refugees also gives me an opportunity to be able to be part of the policy debates and kind of the community um, engagement, uh, interfaith, interethnic kind of dialogues that are necessary. One thing I'm most proud of is acting as a, a expert witness to asylum cases. I got a request to help with an asylee who was in dia on dialysis and who was in a detention center for months. Um, he was eventually granted asylum. Some of the relationships that, that I have developed is starting in 2004 when I did field work in the Cedar Riverside area. Um, investing in that relationship has allowed me to not only build my scholarship, but also for our students to be able to go to this community and understand what migrants are, what refugees are. Over 90% of the students say, I have never been to this area. All I hear is negative things, like that it's unsafe. Uh, and when they go, they say, oh my God, I never ever knew it was this kind of complex and this kind of dynamic and and this safe that kind of initial contact really breaks um, um, these biases both conscious and unconscious that we have of the other seeing our students seeing our faculty in the community it benefits the young people who are there who can aspire to come to the university by coming into contact with people you know their peers people their age who can you know you know say come visit you know my class you really are opening um, you know spaces for dialogue oftentimes I think a lot of um, stereotyping a lot of kind of hatred is really is, is really kind of um, uh, anchored in ignorance in, in in fear and once you kind of start breaking that down you have I think the sky is the limit I genuinely believe that.